So I use my experiences in the music. What happened in South Sudan at the war, what happened to me, what happened to my family. It was just telling a story. You come to a place, rape the kid's mother, kill their brothers and sisters, destroy the environment. You don't need to tell the kid to do anything. The kid will hear who destroyed this. What are their names? They don't need to be told. They'll hear the stories, they'll know, and from there they choose their side and they create their own enemy. Sister, I'm in that brother. Revenge is very sweet, you know, for that moment. You want that person to feel the, what they did to you. You want them to feel it. Sometimes we do it to the wrong person. Now when it actually happened, when you have actually committed and did it, there's the five minute joy. You know, you're happy for five minutes. You celebrate, you know. Then after a while, it's like sex for five minutes, cheating on your husband for five minutes, that moment. It's exciting. After a while, you feel guilty, you feel bad, and you try to find ways to, to justify. Terrorist attack, war in Iraq. There's recession, folks are losing their possession. The pound is going down, everybody's cussing gold and brown. Violence is addictive, especially if you're a soldier who have not been deployed to a battlefield. You don't like it. You want to be in the battlefield, you want to fight, but you don't want to die. <laughs> Nobody wants to die, you want to be a hero, but you don't want to get hurt, you know? But ceasefire was challenging for me to do something with a Muslim person when I had my own issues been a long time ago because I hated Muslims, Arabs, I wanted to kill them. But I healed, I forgave, I understood the quality. And so now to exercise that I had to send the Muslims. And I came to realize that the God of Salim was an amazing person in Sudan has been for human rights. He has been speaking straight because he has seen these atrocities and he has been against them. And so it was an honor to be in the same album with that, with that legend. Sister, I'm in Babylon. Brother, I'm in Babylon. Grandma, I'm in Babylon. Please forgive me, forgive me. Fear is the greatest man and Fear of failure, fear of being humiliated, fear of being killed. So human beings don't want to be humiliated, either softly or in a hard way. And so that's what brings fear. I got so many cards, Visa card, MasterCard, commercial credit cards. I'm a hustler, victim, finding a way to survive in the system. It is fear of tomorrow not having enough. If you constantly just want to make money, 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 is it become addiction. You, you, you still live in a fear that I may lose up everything, so let me keep making more. So everything is out of fear. Success would have not come if I haven't found good people to help me here. Your in your prayers, pray for you, okay? Living things depend on one another. And so, to make change happen, you don't need one person. You need everybody to make change. For real change to happen, it has to begin with the people. Because the leader alone on top is not able to influence the system. He may not be corrupt, but his team will be corrupt. He sacked that team, they have stolen so much, and by the time you're removing the corrupt team, they are more powerful than you. So the next person come, become a puppet. Sister, I'm in Babylon. Brother, I'm in Babylon. South Sudan is like a baby born in a jungle. You know, there are diseases. There are predators, there are so many things, but a special baby that will survive. South Sudan will do well. It's gonna work, it's gonna run, it's gonna learn how to do things. Every place has to have a new beginning. <laughs> We 
Mixtape is where I become a challenge. This is where I get to see. Her.